Hey, hello, and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining my channel. Thanks for subscribing and all that stuff. But I did get one of these flash fish generators. <coughs> and it, it can be powered off of solar. And if you've seen my other videos about it, you already know a little bit about it. But the question I had, I've got a little magic shelf refrigerator, and I was wondering if it would power up the compressor on their on their refrigerator because the specs on it which i'm going to show you in a second says that it's only three watts but i don't think so or three amps now i can't remember because i'm old and i forget but anyway i hooked this up to it with my watts meter with my watts meter and i was checking it out to see if it would work it gets 110 volts to the refrigerator, but what else happens is coming up next. <laughs> okay, let's see what this refrigerator says here. I think it says 3 amps, but I don't know what the startup amperage is. I can't see it from here. I'm just taking the camera and going over it. But this is my little Magic Chef dorm fridge let me turn on the light over here help a little bit and as you can see I got it full I got it full it's my little refrigerator so what I want to know is will my little flash fish charger run it I got it charging up on my camera batteries right now I'm gonna take that off plug this refrigerator in turn it on and I'm gonna see if it'll run that refrigerator so let me get all that hooked up and I'll be right back now I'm gonna give us a few seconds to uh, equalize out on the refrigerator and it is off because I got the plug right here. It's plugged into this strip cord, which I have a watts, uh, kilowatt meter here. that I'm going to be checking all the energy that that thing's drawing. And we're going to see what it's doing when we plug it into the flash fish generator. So we're going to plug it in. Now, let's see, I don't like the way that's routed. Let me reroute this cord. Hold on just a second. It's kind of got me bound up there. Okay, now we're going to plug it back in. So now we have the kilowatt meter plugged in, strip cord plugged in. <laughs> this is do or die. If it starts beeping, you know that it's not enough to carry it. Let's see what it does. It's coming on 110 volts. Ha <laughs> ha! 110 volts. Let's see. Amps. Don't say anything about any amps. Let's see. Watts. Don't say anything about watts. Let's go back to volts. Huh. It says 110 volts. But it don't say anything about amps or watts. But it does say 110 volts. So I'm just wondering if it's going to come on. Let me crawl under there and check it and see if the compressor's on. Nope, the compressor's not on. The light come on. Okay, so I think that the overload or the protection on the compressor is not letting it come on. 
So it is getting 110 volts though. So no amps, no watts. So the question is, will this run a small refrigerator? And I would have to say right now, that's a big negatory. I don't think it'll run a refrigerator at all. So I'm going to turn everything off and plug this back in to the wall. Off. Okay, so I plugged it back into the power just to check this meter. And the refrigerator just kicked on. So it's 122 volts over here. It's pulling. Huh. Can you see that? It's pulling point four three amps and fifty point three watts or fifty watts. Let's just call it fifty watts. Fifty watts for zero point four three amps. 122 volts. Wow, so now you know it's a. Uh, I mean, it, it didn't come on earlier. It might be because it, it was cold enough and didn't need to come on. But a half, less than a watt, I mean, less than an amp, that thing should run it, but it didn't. And it needs 122 volts. It only had 110. Oh well. So maybe I'll try it again later. So all in all, this is still a great little battery backup. Uh, whatever you want to call it. The flash fish that you can charge with the solar panel that I bought. That was on the video yesterday. But it won't run the refrigerator. But it'll run... My, charge my cameras, cell phones, anything small like that, it works fantastic. So, oh, and one other gripe that I've got about this thing is that you cannot charge it with your solar panel and use it at the same time. So, it's good for the kids and stuff, but it's not going to be really practical for everything that I wouldn't want to do with it. But for camping and stuff and having an extra light, maybe a little fan or something, this will be perfect. So anyway, this is Harold. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll get a better one real soon, and we'll check that out too. You guys have a fantastic day. Don't forget to subscribe. Talk to you later. Hey, thanks for indulging me and watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And this is a cool little uh, battery backup that will charge off of solar or 110 volts that you plug into the wall. So it's a cool little thing. And if you haven't seen everything about it, it has three USB ports. It has two 12-volt ports. And it has two 110-volt ports for lightweight stuff. So till the next video, you guys have a fantastic day. And I'll be having another video for soon. You can guarantee it, baby. <laughs> this is Harold signing off.